Hello everyone. It's been a really exciting quarter for Qualcomm. Last time I updated you, a few months ago, we had launched multiple 5G chips. Several OEMs announced their devices and operators were positioned themselves to launch 5G networks globally. Today, I'm excited to say that consumers around the world have 5G in their hands. I have my 5G device in my hands. The Galaxy S10 5G is a device that I use every, every day here in San Diego. 5G is rolling out globally and faster than any generation before it. Over the last few months, operators and OEMs officially launched commercial 5G networks and devices one year ahead of schedule. As an industry, we'll be able to deliver on the acceleration. Networks have gone live and have been announced in the United States, Europe, China, Australia, and South Korea. In the United States, major operators from Verizon to AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile have launched 5G in major U.S. cities. In Europe, Swisscom, Sunrise, also in Switzerland, EE in the U.K., and Telecom Italia customers are now experience 5G. The most significant event of the quarter is China. The China Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, MIIT, issued 5G business operation license to four companies. The three major operators, China Telecom, China Mobile, China Unicom, and China Broadcasting Networking Corporation. China is moving to 5G also ahead of schedule. And China Unicom announced a 5G rollout plan with a number of OEMs, and China Mobile announced at the MWC Shanghai. 13 5G smartphones and other devices on its networks, the majority of the 13 smartphones are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets. And we're very proud of being partnered with China Mobile in the 5G launch. Plans for 5G commercial services are up and running in 50 cities this year, which brings 5G to this large mobile user base much sooner than anticipated. And these networks are being launched with devices on day one. And here is important to uh, take credit for what we have done as an, as an industry. The fact that I use a Galaxy S10 5G in San Diego every day and even though we still don't have 5G service in San Diego, we'll have very, very soon, it's the, it speaks to the maturity of the device ecosystem that allow operators to start selling flagship devices in all markets as they build coverage. And that's a unique uh, aspect of the 5G transition versus any other transition that we had. LG, Motorola, Samsung, HTC, OnePlus, Oppo, Xiaomi, Lenovo, and others have commercial phones available to consumers. Virtually every 5G mobile device launch is powered by our Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platform, the world's first commercial mobile platform to support multi-gigabit 5G. Inside this chipset is our groundbreaking X50 5G modem, along with our integrated modem to antenna, RF transceiver, and front-end solution. During our earnings call, I mentioned that we have 75 5G design wins. And the 75 design wins have our RF front-end with differentiated modem to antenna solution for the 5G bands. This is a major achievement. We're very proud of this and creates a major growth opportunity for Qualcomm in the RF front end business while we're differentiating our partners and make it easier for operators to deploy 5G bands. Earlier this quarter, we announced the world's first 5G PC. At Computex, with the Snapdragon 8CX, always connected PC with Microsoft Windows. We also announced the Qualcomm Cloud AI 100. That's a whole new bet for Qualcomm Semiconductor business, building on our AI capability from the device to create the leading inference accelerator platform for the mobile edge cloud. In the mobile edge cloud, power consumption matter, and we expect that the ability to do this in a battery power device will position Qualcomm very well to, did, to do this in the mobile edge cloud. 
And another major milestone last quarter was, of course, our multi-agreement with Apple. Great news for the industry, for both companies, and bring together a technology leader in mobile with a product leader. I can't wait to see the great products that will result out of this collaboration. Overall, we're happy to be working together to bring 5G to customers on this great mobile ecosystem. And as we said many times before, 5G will have a much larger impact across industries compared to any other G transition. 30 years of mobile expertise, it's unlocking 5G, and it's going to be a driving force behind the industry transformation, whether it's Industry 4.0, digital transformation, and everything that we'll be able to touch with 5G. On a personal note, I have now been to many partner events, happy to be on stage when 5G products were launched, networks have been announced, and this is the result of working for many years to bring this into reality right now. And it's been personally gratifying to see this coming to life. I really enjoy watching it happen in support of our partners. Looking forward to continue to do this in the coming quarters. The opportunities for 5G are boundless. Uh, and as we said you know, throughout the, the entire year, it's going to create one of the biggest opportunities we ever had for a company. Thank you very much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Cristiano Amon. Looking forward to speak with you again next quarter. Bye-bye.